Hi, I'm Angie Sutton, and I host a food blog called MothersApronStrings.com. And on today's program, I'm going to show you how to make baked sweet potatoes. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and turn your oven on to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And go ahead and cut, we're going to peel and cut about four medium sweet potatoes, about an inch and a half thick. So we'll put those in our bowl first. Then we're going to drizzle about three tablespoons of olive oil over our potatoes. Then we'll add four garlic cloves that have been minced. I'm going to give those a toss. We don't like a lot of garlic, so um, I adjust downward, but if you like garlic, um, definitely go with the, the four cl garlic cloves. Um, I've got about a third of a cup of fresh thyme leaves. Sprinkle those, okay. Then we'll do a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Okay, so we've got our four medium sweet potatoes peeled and cut an inch and a half thick, three tablespoons of olive oil, four garlic cloves that have been minced, a third of a cup of fresh thyme leaves, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We'll just give the uh, potatoes a quick stir to toss those and coat all of those potatoes with the ingredients. Then I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish, and I gave it a quick spray with the canola oil. And we'll want to arrange these potatoes so that they are flat on the bottom. Now if you do um, four medium sweet potatoes, it will take the entire space. I just had three today, so I've got three, so it doesn't look like uh, I've got as much in here, but I'm going to make sure that... I get all of this goodness on top of each of the potatoes. And we'll just pop that in the oven for about 40 minutes. Um, you'll take a fork and you can just test to see how tender your sweet potatoes are. And they also will brown. So you'll know when they're done, when they're tender and browned. And um, it'll be a good and fun new way to eat your sweet potatoes. So if you want this recipe and other great recipes, go to mothersapronstrings.com. Thanks, we'll see you next time.